Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brick Bods. This is episode no. Hi everyone and welcome back to the podcast. Get it it's, ep- right. it's episode fifty-seven, and it's obviously a timely one because it's Lego Ideas results time, and Ian and I have both stayed off of social media all day to avoid finding out whether any sets have got through, which sets have got through, so that we can do like a live reaction. I've been less successful in actually staying off social media, but I have managed to like not see. Like the number of times I'm like, no, stop looking at this. And I've come yeah. very close to seeing it, but yeah. I've, I've, I've done all right. Whereas you've been at work, so it's easy, probably. Yeah, easy. I watched a bit of TikTok that doesn't come up on there. So okay, that's, that's, that's good. So I've listened back to the previous episode where we discussed all of the sets that are in this round. Mm. So I'll link that up now so that if you want to go and look at what we thought of the sets, you can do that first. The big takeaway was that we struggled to work out which ones would get through. Okay. We couldn't work it out. They were all there was a reason to discount every single one of them, pretty right, much. Okay. The ones we decided might make it through. Do you, have you refreshed your memory no. on what they are? Um, the ones we decided might have made it through were the Hocus Pocus one and the Brooklyn Nine Nine one. Okay. Okay. Are you ready to see this? Okay. It's fun, isn't it? Okay. Right. Let's go to the Lego Ideas website. Lego Ideas. Um, blog. Oh, it's one set. I can see that already from the, okay. the thumbnail. There's only one set. Only one set. Disappointing. Oh, no, we don't want to give you any help. Go away. Oh, no. Go away. I closed it. Ha ha. Right. So if it's only one set from the two we decided, Hocus Pocus or... I'd prefer Hocus Brooklyn. Pocus. Would you? Yeah. Why? You don't like Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Brooklyn Nine-Nine's okay. I'm not a particular fan. I don't think the set's particularly interesting. Okay, right. Let's have a look. I was kind of scared to scroll. It's going to be something completely different, isn't it? Over the past month, the LEGO Review Board evaluated 36 impressive product ideas that reached 10,000 supporters between early September 2021 and early January 2022. Congratulations, blah, 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 blah. As it stands, we currently have five fan creations. Oh, this is always a fun thing to do. What are the five fan creations? I can't even remember what last time was. Oh, it was that... Um, BTS one wasn't it mm. okay so there's BTS there's the, the lighthouse lighthouse hasn't come out yet the foosball table yeah what else was in with BTS was there two I thought there was something else A frame cabin A frame cabin that's four what's number five that'll do no no one cares about the fifth one. Oh, okay is it the um, the puzzle or is, is the puzzle out yet the puzzle might be out Right. What puzzle? Uh, the jigsaw puzzle. Are we ready? Yeah, the jigsaw mm. puzzle. We're not going to watch that video. No, we're not going to watch a video. Hocus Pocus. Oh, ho- hang on. Mm. Yeah, the Hocus Pocus one. There we go. What did I say? Oh, I can't. I, 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 you, you know how they do the comp- competition? Like, mm. which one will it be? And you can win another set. I don't think I said Hocus Pocus. Uh. Should have said it. Um, okay, Hocus Pocus. That's good then, right? Yep. It's the fact that it's called the Sanderson Sisters Cottage Updated. Like is that's... that because this is their second time? To... Yeah. yeah. I guess so. So all of those other ones, no. The one I liked the most was the train station, I think is what I said last time. Mm, okay. Um, yeah, but the train I, station I, was good. I knew it wasn't going to happen because... Next. We've got a train station coming. Yeah, Studgate is pretty much very similar. Yeah. Uh, we're still working out the final product design. Um, That's a weird one. We're still working out the final product design, pricing and availability for this set. I mean, I assume they mean when it launches. Yeah. But it kind of sounds as though, again, do we want to make it available worldwide? It yeah, well. <laughs> so then there's the next round coming, but it just says coming fall 2022. Mm. I'm always annoyed by this, but we've already looked at those. So if you want to check out what we thought of these next round of product of products product ideas that kind of works yeah. um i will link that up as well so what do we think people think should we have a look at some of the comments yeah. money saved don't like the movie not spend on the set um yeah people people are not happy it would seem I honestly feel like they made the best choice, even though I know plenty of people must be disappointed. Yeah, that's this thing. We couldn't find what set they would go for because no. there was too many 
that just didn't work. Mm. Everyone's sad. Yeah. But people, people are happy. Yeah. But they just people want more than one set. I think that's the issue. Yeah, I think that is it. People going, they've only picked one. Yeah. They obviously don't have the yeah. the capacity to do more mm. than one. Mm. It's just the fact that it's one out of 36 as opposed to one out of 10. And yeah. therefore, that you know there's 35 sets that someone wants. Yeah. But yeah, I like it. It looks interesting. Mm-hmm. It can go in our city. It, it's a bit heavy on minifigs, as these IPs always tend to be. 11-ish. But, yeah. I mean, that's not the final product to say. No. Not to say there would be 11. So they might drop some. Although yeah, you'd need yeah. the three sisters for sure. Yeah, and you need the main characters, so that's the, Are they three, not in the, the three middle. Are they not the three sisters? No. I don't feel like I've seen Hocus Pocus the whole way through, no. I, I'm definitely sure I've seen some of them. Mm. But yeah, are they just like trick-or-treaters that end up... I don't, don't ruin it for me. I'll okay, okay. No, you can ruin it if I don't care. No. So they can probably get rid of the zombie. I can't remember what his name is. Billy. Wow, you do know about this. Yeah. And then I can't even, I can't remember what the two the you've got that blonde guy and the guy in the hat. I can't remember what their names are. I don't think they're hugely important. So I think those them. could be dropped. Yeah. You've then obviously got um Jinx in human is it Jinx? Big cat. Yeah, in but in human form and his little sister. I don't think you need those in human form. You obviously need the cat because that's quite pivotal to the whole story. Sure it is. So, yeah, so you could cut it down to six minifigs and a cat, which I think would then give you a better price for the set. I worry that with too many it just becomes expensive. Looking at the set, it's quite a big house. Yep. So you still haven't let me have Home Alone because we can't really work out where it would go in the city, even mm. though I really want it. Just subtle dig there. Okay. Um, would you do the same for this? You're like, where's it going to go? I don't know until we see it. I feel this would work better in the city. What, it's... in the home balloon house? Why? Yeah. Because this, you could put in the woods and have it as a large old house in the woods. Right. Whereas the home alone house by itself looks odd. Yeah. And next to any other building, it looks out of scale. Yeah, okay. I so... see your point. Mm, you've always got logic. It's very irritating. I have. Yeah. Okay, right, so that's Lego Ideas done. Well. Oh. So it's going to be interesting. So we talked about the ones coming up, but the BTS one is going to be interesting, isn't it? What happened? Well, the group is currently on a break. Oh. So they've tried to emphasise that K-pop bands quite often go on breaks and the members of the band quite often have solo careers. It doesn't mean that the band is over. They may come back. But it's going to be interesting... They may be releasing a set on a band who no longer exist. So does that mean there's going to be no market for it? I don't know. Hmm. I didn't know that. I obviously hmm. don't keep up with K-pop stuff. No. Well, you should. Should I? Should I really? I mean, I'm just... I am stick with the, the music I know. Yeah. From, like, the 90s. Mm. And maybe the noughties. Okay. Does anyone call it the noughties anymore? Some people... Not many. Is it a bad thing to do? Yeah. But it's that, I think that's one of the pitfalls that Lego has with picking these trendy sets is that that trend can end quite abruptly. That trend can end? Ooh. Very rhyming. Yes. I'm intrigued. I'll, I'll wait and see what happens. Because, mm. I mean, obviously one option is that if they have split up, you can kind of try and do it as like a... Tribute to or like a, yeah, a nostalgia farewell set, thing, yeah. but they've not been gone long enough for that really to work. Yeah. So like, I think you could do that with. I don't think like Spice Girls. They did do that with Spice Girls, I guess. They brought brick heads in, didn't yeah. they? Yay, brick heads. Yeah. I mean, you could could you do it with Take That because they're kind of back. Are they to get are they back. I don't understand Take I, That. I I never keep up with them. There's there's only three of them left or something, isn't there? I don't know who's been killing them off. No, no, they're they're alive. <laughs> It's right. not in the group anymore. Uh, okay. So there was like five to start with. Yeah. Then Robbie left. Yeah. And they did a whole load. And then Robbie came back for a bit, but then wasn't. At, he, he was like a guest. Yeah. As opposed to part of them. And then I think, who went next? 
I think it was Jason Orange went next. Was it? Yeah. You don't you don't have a clue. Do you? The future didn't became ha- less bright. Didn't Howard also then leave? The duck? No, not how Who's Howard the duck? Is Howard the duck a thing? Of course it is. Is Ed the duck? Uh, and Howard. Howard, I'm Googling Howard the duck now. Okay. Howard the duck. Marvel. No, what? 1986 film. Yeah. Howard the duck. Oh, I remember this. He also has like a little guest appearance in, I'm going to say Gardens of the Galaxy 2. But it could oh, have been the that. first one. I'm thinking more Ed the Duck. Okay. He was clearly better. Next one, Amy's kids are noisy to do. Yeah. Shh. Shh. <laughs> Shh. Right, so that's Lego Ideas done. I don't think there's okay. anything new from Lego Ideas other than, oh, look, there's some results. No. And we're not happy with them. There's no point going over there. How can they fix Lego Ideas? Because we do that every time. Yeah. And yeah. it's just the same. I mean, I'm not upset I'm by not, this. I don't think so either. It's, it's not a bad set. But... But it's not my favourite. You but... scroll the comments, people are, are upset. Well, of course they are. So, if you're you allowed to be upset. If you assume all the sets are roughly equal, and how many did you say there were? 36? Yeah. So, therefore, 35 out of 36 people will be upset because their favourite set hasn't been chosen. Yeah. That's just life. That's life. That's what they say. That's what all the people say, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right, so other news this week. Um, Other news? Have you been keeping news from me? No, I told you on the way home. I don't listen. (laughs) The Leicester Square store has set a date for reopening. And there's going to be the gift with purchase that they normally give away at new store openings Mm. available. So that's interesting. And that's the the weekend before the island store Mm. opens. So they're kind of stealing a bit of that thunder. Um, but then, like the London store is like the the flagship biggest store ever, kind of thing. Yeah. So they've got their own thunder to start with. Like, mm. I don't know. They don't need to steal islands. No. Can we go to both? Would it be crazy? I don't know because obviously our plan is assuming that we can get passports sorted out in time is to go on the Monday. Yes. So. That would be fine. Still, we could. I think so I we said it could, was... but. Be you crazy. know, there'd be planning and packing and all those fun things that you might want to do before. Well, I could up. go and you could not. Of course. I you... could go and you could not. You don't like tubes. I'd cope. So, the problem is, I I was reading that the, the gift of purchase, the, the little mini Lego store, is from like the 10th to the 13th or something, or 10th to the 14th. But then on the 15th to the 18th, which is when we will be going mm. to Ireland, they've got a different gift with purchase, which is, I think it's advertised as a Lego lorry, which is unseen so far. We don't know what yeah, it okay. looks like. So that might be the more interesting thing for yeah. us to get, but it looks like if we do the Ireland thing, it's kind of impossible to go. Yeah. But then if we can get the gift with purchase that is available at Ireland by going to the London store, we could put off going to the Ireland store for a couple of weeks until there's like, I think there's a brick show in Ireland. Oh, okay. And we could do that then. line up with the brick show. Yeah. Like, being there day one, if you're getting, getting the same True. gift of purchase somewhere else, isn't as important. They do give out these little, um, I think it's a, a brick or a tile that says, oh. I love Lego store, and then the specific store. Right. Um, but I don't think I care enough. Okay. I mean, it would be cool, but mm. I'd, I was a little bit worried about, like, queues and things that you'd get up, upset with mm. the queues. You're not a fan of queues. No. Or tube trains. So... And we wanted to go to London at some point with the girls over the summer holidays. Did so we? That could line up okay. for that one. Although Leah's got a party halfway through that weekend. Trying to organise Lego life and mm. family life is quite hard. It is. But yeah. So are we sure that the lorry won't be available at the island store? N- no, we won't. We're not sure. Yeah, that's a good question. Mm. Trying to find out details on this stuff. That's just It's awful. just luck of the draw. Well, because... You kind of wonder, what's the point of them? Are they trying to encourage people to go there? If they are, then they need to tell people that they're going to be there. Yeah. If they're just re- trying to reward the people who go on the first date as a sort of thank you for coming, but I, I know you didn't come specifically for this, but here's a, a thank you. Like, it's, There's not clear which, which yeah. it is. Is it a reward for going there because you were going anyway? Or is it an incentive to go there? No one know. knows. I don't think Lego know. 
They just make it up as they go they along. make it up as they go along. Okay, that, that's roughly true. Any other exciting Lego news? There's a petition currently on Instagram that someone's started saying, first of August, no one buy anything. It's like, right. we're, we're going into, um, we're going on strike from buying Lego until right. they change the prices. Good idea or futile? Futile. Why? Because most people who buy Lego will not see that at all. It said at the bottom, share with your friends. Yeah. Or share. Yeah. So, yeah, what's the point? Do we just need to get over the price increase thing already? You just have to accept it. I think this uh, this week in Barnes & Noble, they've already put the prices up in the US. So right. we can already see some of them. And like there's like £70 on one of the sets. Because it's already an expensive set. I think mm. that's the Hogwarts Castle. Which has been out for so long. Mm. And now it's like 70 or well, $70 more expensive. Yeah. That just seems a lot. But if you don't want, if you don't like it, don't buy it. Mm. Is that not how it works? So I saw um, Brick Clicker did a video about the price increases. And again, I think that was basically the American ones. And we don't know how that relates to sets no. over here. But one of the interesting things is it said that it's not none of the sets that are retiring this year are going to have their prices put up. Oh, okay. But then one of the sets that I think is price put up is the treehouse. Which brings in the question, how on earth is the treehouse still going? I thought the treehouse have retired already. I thought that. So hang on. Are we saying that the, the treehouse hasn't already gone and it's not going? And is it's that... not going this year, according to Lego. I thought the treehouse had I thought had it gone. had retired. Uh, did you check? No. Oh, have a look. Double VIP points. They were stealthy with those, weren't they? I assume that the, the double VOP points on the 12th and 13th of July is to rival the fact that people are looking at Prime Day deals. Yeah. Treehouse. Yes, yeah, still there. Still there. Seems reasonably priced at 174 99 yeah. Just because we've been buying so many really expensive yes. sets, you're like, oh, that's not that much. I feel like we've we've lost the ability to know. So they're saying they're staying forever. <laughs> it seems to it's be. It's a very popular set. And they kept... There were multiple rumours of it going. Yeah. So people were buying second ones to do like rebrickables and things. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So we're still not sure what sets are going to do what in Europe or in the UK. We don't yeah. know if it's going to align with Europe or whether each country within Europe is going to have its own sets that will go up and down and it'll completely destroy all of the work they did at the start of the year to bring everything back into line. It is weird. Yeah. I think that the only thing, oh, this is what we've been saying the whole time, is just buy the sets when they're on offer or when you yeah. see a good price or a price you're comfortable with and don't stretch yourself too far. Yeah. If the prices go up, buy less. Yeah. Cause just because the prices go up doesn't mean you need to spend more. No. It does suck. Like You can be sad about it, yeah. but there isn't really anything you can do. No. Because... There is not the ability to stop everyone. Unless you like formed a picket line outside a Lego store. You could try. And made no one go in Lego stores. Mm. But I don't, I don't see that happening. No. And I felt, would they allow you to do that? If it's a protest, it's very difficult for them to stop you doing it. Hmm. As long as you are not physically stopping people from going in. But you're saying, they're ripping you off, don't go yeah. in here. Yeah. Okay. Do you think they will put any of the sets through to Bricklink Designer Program? Will there be another Bricklink Designer Program? I don't know. It's really... We don't understand the point of the Bricklink Designer Program. Like, is it to try and make money? Is it to try and appease AFOLs? They're making such relatively small quantities of the sets. Yeah. You it's... can't imagine that it's making that much money because it is taking, you know, time. It's taking a lot of time. You think but, about how many people haven't... There's still people who haven't got round one sets yet. Really? Yeah, like people waiting for a fishing store, uh, fishing boats and things. But it's pretty, so, pretty poor. But it's taking up Lego's time as well. They're having people who are yeah, working with it's... the designers and stuff. So it's not like it's a... Previously, when Bricklink did it, it was Bricklink did it and Lego didn't have any involvement in it. Now it's costing Lego to run the whole thing. Yeah. I can't see it making a profit. So you think it's going to be scrapped? I don't know. Will they come up with a better system where it's 
more crowdfunding based where as they go as opposed to we're going to make 10,000 sets yeah. we'll say we'll make as many sets as, as get bought yeah we'll go this people is people will be happy about this is the period in which you can buy them however many you know at the end that's how many we'll make yeah this whole artificial cap thing is a bit weird yeah it is weird it's upset quite a lot of people especially when it meant that if you didn't know it was happening on that day because you're not following lego closely yeah because i think some people have said you know people who weren't particularly following lego have mentioned it happening yeah because they've seen it pop up on their feeds but unless you're really on it you couldn't get the set no not not that first round and not some of the and well the latest round that sold out pretty quick yeah they? yeah so they might make it through to that i then there's the weird is it target one Oh yeah, the Viking one. Yeah. Does that, that count in the from? five? Have they they haven't told us which one they're getting yet, though, do they? No. So we still don't know that but one. There's still one mystery one out there that yeah. will come through. Was there a contest recently that maybe someone won? Does like a shipwreck one? Yeah, maybe a gift with purchase or something. Yeah. So we now come up with six different ones that they could. Well, be. I don't know if that one. Well, yeah. This is it. What counts and what doesn't count. Ah, new gift with purchase. Yeah, stem thing. Oh, the tribute to Galileo one. That that's probably it. Could be. Did you know about this? Vaguely. Yeah. Okay. Like it seemed to like doing random hmm. things. But I thought there was there was definitely a shipwreck one, a beach one, or something like a castaway set. Yeah, I think you're right as well. So maybe they don't count the with purchase ones but you really should start listing them so that we didn't have to keep doing this okay. there's five I'm going to tell you what they are you'll come up with at least five some of those but maybe not all of them I'd just google it to be fair you think it's a gift with purchase? I think so Ray the Castaway it is ridiculous that you have to google to find yeah. anything on Lego Ideas Official gift with purchase. Isn't that just tan jam? Yeah. It's not though, because the hair is the wrong colour. It's, it's lighter. Yeah, it's been bleached by the sun. So yeah, so is that one of the five? Is it not? I, I, five? Yeah, I so said we've got way more than five now. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Hmm. Who knows? I say we're probably missing one. Well, you reckon it's a, a proper one? Yeah. Go to Wikipedia, it'll tell you. <laughs> the office. The office. How do we forget the yeah. office? So you've got the foosball table, the lighthouse, the office, the A-frame cabinet and the BTS dynamite. So, yeah. so the foosball table is a proper set as opposed to a gift of purchase. Is that what they're saying? Yeah. Okay, right. Well, that was worth it, wasn't it? It was. Can't believe we forgot the office. <sighs> That's because we don't care. That could be the case. Yeah, okay. Right. I think we've talked about it enough. Okay. Anything else you want to talk about? Do you talk about custard creams? No. No, okay. Right, so let us know in the comments below what you think of the Hocus Pocus set. Are you pleased that it was picked? Are you also disappointed that there wasn't any others? And which one did you really want? We get no points. For oh no, we did guess Hocus Pocus, yeah. so we do get points. Okay. We get points. Yay! <laughs> right, okay, so points to us. And yeah, we'll be back next week for another episode of the podcast. But in the meantime, if you want to listen to any other episodes then i'll link up the playlist in the show notes or the description or at the end and have a great week bye bye